Hello everyone, for today's video we will build a lab bench power supply since I had a ATX power supply laying around but please notice that you will need a working power supply in order to do this project. We can get from this power supply 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts and 5 volts for the USB with 2 amps. We could also get 24 volts with the positive 12 volts and negative 12 volts but the negative 12 volts it has only a couple of amps so it's useless. First we have to disassemble the power source. Then we need to release the cables. It's quite a mess, so we will need to shorten it from now. Please be aware to discharge those two big capacitors before touching any components because you can end up a bed. So maybe you can attach an LED or something or just keep the, the source powered up for a couple of minutes until they discharge. Not powered up, sorry, just turn it on by connecting the green wire to any black wire. Let's shorten the cables. You can keep those extra wires for future projects. And now let's sort the cables. Firstly, the orange ones will be the 3.3 volts. The green wire is the power on, so we will use it on the rocket switch. The red ones are the 5 volts. The purple one is the standby 5 volts, so we will use it for the USB module. The yellow ones are 12 volts. Those two brown wires are for also for 12 volts and one for 3.3 sets, but I will sort this up later. <laughs> The black ones are the ground wires. You'll need some extra stuff for this project, starting with two LEDs, a USB module, and a rocket switch. This rocket switch also has an LED, but 
it's using 12 volts to power it up so i want to use this feature for this project we will only use the rocket switch we'll also need the clamping tool some clamps and the soldering wire some binding posts or banana connectors We will set up the USB module here, so we will have to drill a hole. And that hole is almost large enough for the rocket switch, so we will enlarge them. Sorry, enlarge the hole just a little bit. We will need extra six holes for the binding posts. And that's pretty much it. You'll also need some shrinking tubes and some isolating tape. Here you can see that I've already drilled a hole for the USB module. Using this accessory with a DIY Dremel. And here I've enlarged the hole with this accessory. You can also find the video for the DIY Dremel in my channel. For the USB module, we will need to solder a black wire to any ground post and the red wire to the VBUS post, which is 5 volts. Here you can see my first attempt, but unfortunately, also I've soldered the wrong brown wire, which were, was volts now we will mount the rocket switch And we will use the green wire and black wire to power the power supply on. Don't forget to use shrinking tubes on each wire. You can use a piece of plastic or metal to catch any soldering wire that will melt, not a shrinking tube like I did. You will need to, lose, to use a lot of soldering wire. don't have a hot air gun so I will use a lighter now I resolder the LED to the USB module and tighten up the wires to the rocket switch 
and add the red LED to a black wire and a red 5 volts wire. The USB seems secure now. I know I made a mess with the glue and use a lot of it. But better safe than sorry. I've drilled six holes for the Biden posts. Attached the Biden posts with some hot glue. Also use some isolation tape on the power module and shorten the wires. Attach the clamps to the wires and, and follow the brown wire path in order to use the 3.3 .3 sense wire and attach it to the yellow wires. I've added shrinking tubes to all the wires. Now you can view the final project. It still has an industrial design because I didn't want to paint it. Now let's test it. I've also added some pads for the ground because I've already scratched my table. Powered it up. The yellow wire is on, so also the USB module should have current. We can see 1 milliamp and 5 volts through the USB. So let's turn the PSU on. You can see the red LED and hear the vent running. Let's check the binding posts. We have 3.3 volts, 5 volts, and 12 volts. When you're done using Using it, you can close it and you'll have to wait for a few minutes in order for the capacitors to discharge. You can also observe when it's its full discharge when the yellow LED will be shut down. Now the capacitors are discharged and you can properly store your new lab bench power supply. Let's recap. You'll need a red wire and a black wire attached to the LED using a diode, a green wire and a black wire to the rocket switch black wire and the purple wire to the USB module and the yellow LED using a diode, 
to the positive terminal of the LED. Sorry. Then you'll have three black binding poles connected to the black wires and one orange for the 3.3 volts, red for the 5 volts, and yellow for the 12 volts. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please like, share and subscribe to my channel.